I think it's working this week. Let's find out. Right? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Please work, please work, please work. <laughs> okay, now I just have a blank screen. Oh, here we go. What's the date today? The 27th? 27th. Oh, boy. No, right? Hmm. Okay. So... All right. Okay, do you see it? Hold on. <laughs> do we? Are we working? There's a note that says meeting is not streaming live on Facebook, but I haven't looked on Facebook itself. Okay. Teresa's joining us. Okay, here it is. I can see it. And I can see that four people are watching us live. Ooh, Teresa says hi. Excellent. We're, on, we're live and it's working. <laughs> We've got comments. <laughs> Today is a good day. <laughs> You rock, Tessa. <laughs> Thank you. I'm fairly decent with technology, but I do need to learn it. It doesn't all come naturally. <sighs> all right, so let's start this shindig off, shall we? <laughs> um, so we've got, it's Tuesday night, the 27th of October. We're coming to you live. If you're watching us live, please comment below that you're watching us live so that we can get you on the prize wheel for tonight. You get two entries for watching live. Um, if you're watching the replay, please put in the comments watching replay because then you get put on the prize wheel for next week. We love giving you guys prizes for tuning in with us and watching with us. Um, any questions that you have, any topics you want us to talk about, anything you need clarification on, please by all means throw that in the comments. Anne and I are watching under our videos um, that we can see things as you guys interact. If you're joining us on Zoom, um, just remember that we record these and then we post them to the group on on YouTube. And so those are our public videos. So if you're joining us on Zoom, uh, if you don't want your beautiful face seen uh, on the World Wide Web, you can turn off your video camera. Um, I have the settings that when you log in, you're automatically muted and your camera's automatically off. So um, otherwise, if you'd like to show us your beautiful face, you are more than welcome to show us your video and your um, mic, just unmute and click uh, share video. So I think that's all of our housekeeping stuff. Did I miss anything, Anne? Are we good? I think we're good. All right, awesome. Do you want to go first with one of yours? I think we're each covering three things, two or three? No, I've got two. Two? All right, I'll do one of mine because I've got three. So I'll do one of mine and then we'll just flip flop. That's not perfect. That's all right. Good. So now I have to decide what I'm doing first. Let's do um, the Very Vanilla Mint set. So this is a really cool set. Um, if you're into DIYs and you've been doing oils for more than like three months, you've probably attempted like a sugar scrub for your hands. Um, after you've done the classic sugar scrub, you'll move on to salt scrubs because, you know, that's fun. And um, as you do research on healthy salts and the best things for your body and how to get the most out of the products you're using, you'll discover pink Himalayan sea salt because that's just like next on your wellness journey. And so I had gotten that far. I've made my own sugar scrubs, my own salt scrubs, and I've done pink Himalayan sea salt. Um, grapefruit mint is a fantastic pink Himalayan sea salt um, exfoliating one. However, Anything you make at home will never be as good as this very vanilla mint set. It is so incredible. Young Living just did an absolutely spectacular job putting this together. It's so amazing. It feels like heaven on your hands. Um, 
they combine pink Himalayan sea salt and then they've got like mango seed butter in the body butter. Um, they've got uh, aloe vera in there. They've got green tea extract. They've got a whole bunch of wonderful stuff in there. It's got antioxidants uh, put in there. And then of course, vanilla essential oil, which video last week we're getting. I'm super excited. I could talk about it for hours. Um, and then mint, which I, I've always loved peppermint. So the mint is just a really nice, like refreshing, cooling. It's got that warming and cooling kind of icy hot tingle to your hands. So it's just like really rejuvenating and wakes up your hands and makes them feel alive again. And then it's got that like warm, cozy, welcoming vanilla smell to it. So it smells amazing when you're putting it on your hands. And then that pink Himalayan sea salt just exfoliates that dead skin off. And then the moisturizing of the aloe vera and then the antioxidants with the green tea extract and the moisturizing that's in there. It just, it feels amazing. So just that salt scrub is amazing. And then they paired it with a body butter. So you do this wonderful scrub and it feels fantastic. Also, if you want the best shave of your life, exfoliate with that first, then shave your legs. Um, make sure you wash off the salt scrub first or that salt that's left on your legs will tear up your razor. Um, but do the exfoliating of the legs first because that'll get rid of all that dead skin and grime and grossness. And then shave your legs and then put on some body butter or some of Young Living's lotion. It feels incredible. It feels so good. It, it's, it's amazing. I can't talk about that enough. All right. So then the body butter is the second part of the set. They've got mango seed butter in there. They've got, I'm going to butcher this, Kupa Echu seed butter. Um, this one is really good at delivering a deep, long lasting moisture. So I've done body butter because, you know, I do DIY stuff. I've done body butters myself. Um, usually with like frankincense and lavender or something like that. And they do last really well. Frankincense and lavender are super great for your skin. I've picked up shea butter and uh, beeswax and avocado seed oil, like all the weird jojoba oil. I've gotten all those weird things and found them and ordered them on Amazon, but nothing compares to what Young Living puts together. They do their research. They do it right. It's amazing. It is the softest baby butt smooth feeling you'll ever have on your hands or your elbows. Like, I don't know, like my elbows get really like chapped and kind of bumpy or dry or whatever in wintertime. Um, just a small like pea-sized dab of this body butter on your elbows and it feels so good. So it's got the mango seed butter, it's got that kubuetu seed butter, and it's got jojoba oil, which is really good. It's got natural occurring vitamin E in there. It's also antioxidant rich and super moisturizing. And I really love that this body butter protects your skin from environmental stressors that cause dryness. So it not only like fixes dryness you may have, but it protects it from future dryness. So especially people in the healthcare field right now who are wearing gloves all the time, gloves on, gloves off, or depending, I mean, really a lot of people are wearing gloves right now. Um, grocery store workers, I've seen checkout personnel wearing gloves all the time. This body butter will be a really good lifesaver for you. So that's what I've got for my vanilla mint set. All right, Anne, you're up. Take a turn. Oh. Okay, well then, this is a perfect segue into what I'm going to be talking about because this also has the vanilla five milliliter essential oil that comes with it. Now, you have to understand that I think I have a diffuser addiction. <laughs> <laughs> you because, do. You do. <laughs> because I counted... <clears throat> how many diffusers I have in my house, you know, and I mean, it's a rather, it's a good size house. I have 12 diffusers in my house and I just can't stop. Like when they come out with a new diffuser, I have to have it. <laughs> so in the holiday catalog, there is a Haven diffuser collection. Okay. So of course it comes with a diffuser. Right, and it's it's like this. Um, it's a ceramic diffuser. My understanding is it's got all these little different lights, and you can control whether you want intermittent or continuous. Or I'm thinking I'm gonna have to have it, but <laughs> so 
don't tell my hubby. <laughs> he shakes his head every time I get a new diffuser. But the thing that excites me the most is that it comes with not one, but two essential oils. One of which is the vanilla, which Tessa has talked about. Um, she's raving about it. And I actually am getting pretty excited about it too. I'm like, hmm, I wonder what this is all about. But it also comes with one of my absolute favorite that I diffuse not just in the holiday season, but pretty much all year long, Christmas spirit. Um, it is so uplifting. I mean, it, it just puts a smile on your face. It brings joy into your, your life, comfort even. Um, during the Christmas season, I mean, I'm one I don't really get too worked up about Christmas, you know, as far as like all the stress of shopping and all of that. Um, I'm actually pretty relaxed, to be honest. <laughs> but for those that, you know, kind of get a little overwhelmed during the holidays, um, Christmas spirit is awesome. It combines orange, cinnamon bark, and um, Northern Lights black spruce in it and it's just oh it's just so heavenly i mean those are like my favorite oils anyway so it creates a warm spicy sweet christmas blend that everybody's gonna go oh wow what's that about now for people who don't really know well okay so how do you use a diffuser what's this all about um so let me back up a little bit <clears throat> About, oh boy, now seven years ago, I decided that, you know, the stuff that was in my home was probably not good for me. Uh, from air fresheners to aerosol sprays to candles to all of that stuff. So I began to research and I came across this most fabulous thing, like essential oils. Wow. And so I began to educate myself on it. And by no means am I an expert. I don't claim to be, um, but all I know is that I'm very passionate about essential oils and sharing sharing them with others and what I what I know. Um, and so I decided to start using these diffusers. And like I said at the beginning, hmm, I'm a little bit over the top, but it's you pretty much, you know, you put in your water, you put in however many drops of oil you like. Um, now, someone who is just beginning, you might want to go a little bit easier, maybe two to three drops in your diffuser to begin with, and then go from there. I'm one, I'm like, oh, let's, let's do five drops of this and five drops. Of that. <laughs> you know, I make all these little combinations and I'm like, oh, this is great, just great. Uh, again, I have a bigger house, so I can do that. You wouldn't want to do that in a, in a home that's you know, say 900 square feet. That probably wouldn't go over well. Um, but I just absolutely love the fact that these two oils are going to be in this collection. Um, and I mean, honestly, for $85, I mean, you get a diffuser and you get two oils. Mm, that to me is pretty good because when I think how much I've just spent on a diffuser just by itself at wholesale price, I'm spending anywhere between 60 and $80, depending on which diffuser. So I'm like, hmm, this is a pretty good deal. They're throwing in some oils on this. Um, so I'm pretty excited about, about this one, and I'm thinking I might have to have it. So I'm going to give it back to Tessa. <laughs> well, and that vanilla one, I think, isn't vanilla like $34 in and of itself? So that's a, mm -hmm. that's a really good deal that they're giving you for that. Definitely, definitely. Um, it's funny that you say you have 12 diffusers because our <laughs> house, I don't know what our house is in relation to yours, but you said 12 and I was like, oh, quick, count them up. And I think we've got seven. In our <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm borderline addict, I think. <laughs> and, and actually, actually, technically I have 13 because one of them is at the home that I work at. Um, you know, I kind of, you know, loaned it out 
you know. We're not counting like diffuser necklaces. Oh no, or, no, okay, no. <laughs> no, just pure diffusers. <laughs> have like two diffuser necklaces and each of my vehicles has one of the car vent diffusers and i think no, I'm, not even counting those. Diffuser. I'm just like oh man i hope she's just counting the plug-in ones just the plug-in ones right. <laughs> anyone who's watching this who has one diffuser is like these chicks are nuts pretty much <laughs> All right, so I think the next one I'm going to do is the Dreamcatcher uh, bath bombs. Mm. Um, so last year, as a gift from one of my upline, um, I got that last year it was Believe bath bombs, and they were shaped like a star. And wow, does Believe essential oil blend smell incredible. And that bath bomb um, was just, it was super nice. I actually used it as a shower steamer because um, our bathtub at the time was majorly malfunctioning and I wanted to use it and it worked really well as a shower steamer. So you can use it both ways. Um, although I do recommend a bath bomb, it probably works better. Um, but wow, it like, it filled my shower for like my, that shower and then Luke's shower and then my shower the next day, you could still smell Believe. I mean, it was just this beautiful smell and in the morning like believe is really energizing and like gets you pumped up and ready for the day um gives you confidence so that was really good so i'm really really excited about the dream catcher one that they have coming this year because i have dream catcher essential oil blend and i love it i diffuse it like crazy Dreamcatcher is a really wonderful essential oil that's got like juniper and blue cypress and Lang Lang and jasmine, which is a really expensive mm. oil. Um, I think there's also rose in there and it's got bergamot and um, it's just, it's such a wonderful oil. My notes are like freaking out on me here. Um, tangerine, bergamot, geranium, blue tansy, there's spearmint, there's lemon, there's grapefruit in there so it's got like a wonderful blend of citruses there is a little bit of sandalwood in there and the divana which came out three years ago um as a single so it's just this like beautiful blend and the jasmine and the rose which are two of our most expensive oils mm -hmm. so this is such a beautiful blend and it's wonderful for inspiring creativity um i'm kind of more left brain than I am right brain. I'm a fairly decent mix of both, but when I'm really into left brain linear, like I need to do, I need to get this, this, and this done today, and I need to get this out in the mail, and I need to get dishes put away, you know, like that kind of stuff. I have a really hard time switching over to my three-year-old wants to paint. My three-year-old wants to color. My three-year-old wants to build with blocks, and I have a really hard time switching from one to the other, and Dreamcatcher has really been a lifesaver for me because it allows me to enter her creative play. She's just starting imaginative play. And so Dreamcatcher is just a really beautiful way to switch from your left brain linear thinking over into creativity. Luke is very left brain. He's very, let's design this, let's engineer this, let's build that. Let's, his job is data entry and Excel spreadsheets and number crunching and all that kind of stuff. So he's very, very linear left brain thinking. Um, so when he needs to switch over into like creative stuff, like let's paint, let's draw, let's do something fun. Um, Dreamcatcher really works for him. So the fact that it works for somebody as left brained as my husband um, or as left brained as my dad, uh, my dad is very much an engineer. He's a mechanical engineer and does a lot of making parts for things and drawing up quotes and like down to the hundredth of an inch precision on things. And for Dreamcatcher to work on my dad to watch him play and build blocks on the floor with Karis when I've got Dreamcatcher diffusing is just a really beautiful thing to see. So the fact that they have it in a bath bomb this year, um, and I will very likely use it in the shower again, um, but the fact that they have it as a bath bomb is just really exciting for me because I'm really looking forward to giving it to people as gifts or putting it in the bathtub because it's safe for kids, um, putting it in a bath for Karis or that kind of a thing to encourage her creativity and imagination and things like that. So I'm very excited about the Dreamcatcher bath bombs. Nice. Nice. I, I might, I mean, I know I love diffusing Dreamcatcher, so I might have to splurge a little bit and get me few of those little bath bombs and oh yeah just for me <laughs> just for you <laughs> um 
So my it's kind of a theme tonight. Um, so I'm going to jump right into Christmas spirit foaming hand soap. Okay, so I love Christmas spirit. And it is, I mean, it is just the most, oh, it, it, it doesn't dry your hands out at all. It actually moisturizes them. Uh, it smells wonderful. Um, and it kind of really puts some festive little color in your, in your bathroom as well. Uh, now, last year, because this isn't, this isn't something that's just brand new this year. We had Christmas spirit foaming hand soap last year, too. And I'm very excited that, yep, it's, it's coming back around because I was like, oh, am I going to have to hoard this <laughs> because it, are we ever going to see it again, you know? I and, think I have one. <laughs> I think I have one, too. I think if I ran into my other room, <laughs> I think I could grab it and show it to you. Hang on, keep talking. I bet you I have one. <laughs> Because awesome. I think I hoarded it going, man, if they don't bring this back, I need this for Christmas next year. Hang on, I'm going to turn off my video. Okay. I'll be right back. Keep talking. Okay. All right. Um, so it's not only just for in the bathroom. I used to have it in, you know, on my kitchen counter, you know, at the kitchen sink. Um, again, it's just a blend of orange, cinnamon bark, and, and uh, black spruce essential oils. Um and it is just, it's just a fresh, I, I guess the description, it's just a fresh, invigorating scent. Um, definitely, definitely, I mean, you could use it, not just for Christmas, but, um, so I'm kind of that, that person like, ooh, let's, let's get out everything for Christmas. Let's put our hand soap out and let's put this out and let's get the diffusers going, all 12 of them. And, um, you know, so I I am very very impressed with all the the hand soaps. You know, the thieves thieves hand soap is wonderful. Um, again, you're you're getting kind of a a spicy scent, um, a spicy clean scent, which I really really enjoy. I like the fact that number one, it it doesn't leave your hands feeling um, sticky after sometimes when you use just a a regular hand soap. Sometimes it's mm, not so good on your hands and you feel like you haven't, that it hasn't rinsed off completely. So when you use the foaming hand soap, it's like, oh, okay, cool. My hands are clean. They're fresh. They're invigorated. Awesome. There it is. Look at that. Miss Tessa, she's got some Christmas spirit foaming hand soap. You, <laughs> you rock. I think mine is downstairs. So um, you were saying that about hoarding it and I was like, I'm pretty sure that thought crossed my mind last year, too. <laughs> <laughs> it was in with my extra Young Living stuff. <laughs> so, you know, we're, we're just kind of highlighting some of these things that are in the catalog. Um, Young Living will be <clears throat> relaunching the holiday product catalog um, because, honestly, there was more um, internet traffic this time around. It was what four times of what Black Friday usually is. Yeah. So no wonder we broke the internet. We're oh, <laughs> um, gonna be relaunching it, I think, on November the 9th. I'm not sure about the time yet. I didn't see a time. All I saw was that diamonds, like Royal Crown Diamonds and such, had mm -hmm. first access. But yeah. I think after the diamonds and royal crown diamonds get it, then it's open for anybody. Okay. Okay. So just, you know, make sure that, you know, if you haven't looked as far as what's available and kind of narrow down, <laughs> narrow down what you'd like to get, because again, you know, even though Black Friday might look a little bit different in retail stores, I don't think Black Friday is going to look much different for Young Living as far as it, the same. online. Um, so I have to be mindful of, okay, so if I want to be able to get stuff for Black Friday and Cyber Monday, <laughs> I better control myself on this. <laughs> so I got to pick and choose wisely um, on this. Well, and I also, two things to go off of that. They have, if you look next to the item num or item name, there's an item number, which is like four or five digits. Mm -hmm. So I write that down so that I can type them in really fast. 
so that I know I get them before they're limited edition and gone. Um, so that's one of my tips. The other thing is, like Anne and myself, if you're very budget conscious and you're watching that, um, something that's going to be staying around, like the vanilla should be sticking around, mm -hmm. um, those kinds of things. Um, maybe wait on the, I'm for sure getting one vanilla. Who, are, who am I getting? Oh. For sure one. But um, <laughs> things that are going to be sticking around, you don't necessarily have to get, but things that are limited supply or limited edition, those ones I would definitely mm -hmm. uh, budget your money for because I'm guessing they won't be around after November 9th or 10th based on how much traffic we had. I'm oh, thinking anything sure. that's limited supply is going to be gone that first day. So. Oh, for sure. I know, like, you know, I get ready, like, when I know that it's going to be open for us, you know, like Black Friday, you know, I mean, I have my account up, and I am, like, ready. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. Well, and this is really unique this year, because, like, it was supposed to go, the holiday launch, they show you the products, and you, you, it opens that day for ordering, so you have no time to budget or set any money aside and this right. year they've given us two week two and a half weeks mm -hmm. um again not intentionally but how wonderful for us that in a year where finances are a little bit tighter we get two and a half weeks of this is my wish list this is the money i need to save this is the money i need yep. to set aside for my paycheck this is the number of people i need to add to my young living team so that i get a nice paycheck because everyone you mm -hmm. add is 50 bucks for you um so how right. awesome is that that you've got two and a half weeks to plan and save and add people to your team to pay for your holiday launch products exactly. how awesome. i love that i love that and, <laughs> and the other thing that they're doing because there were so much so many people on when it first launched um, so they had to go back to kind of the, and really think about how can we make it so everybody, everybody has an opportunity to really get what they're, what they've had their eyes on, you know, wish list. Um, and so they're, they're setting up like a queue system. Yep. So it's kind of like you're waiting in line, yep. online, you yep. know, which I, th which I think is, is great because, you know, sometimes you know i i always feel really horrible when you know so something something's available something's been out of stock for a long long time um and you know it comes back in stock and people that might work nine to five by the time they're able to get on and even think about ordering something it's gone yeah I always feel really bad about that. So I think this Q um, system, I think it's going to be really, it's going to be a nice feature. Yeah. I think that's going to be wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yep. So anything else, Tessa? Um, I was going to do the Drops of Joy diffuser earrings. So these are really wonderful. Um, I was going to show you a video um, of the Young Living, um, the name's totally gone, the Young Living Foundation, but I couldn't find one specific to India. Um, mm. go to YouTube and look up Young Living Foundation, like Ecuador, or like those kind of things, and the Young Living Foundation really does a wonderful, um, they do a lot of really wonderful things specific to this product. Um, they are featuring some handmade jewelry, from some ladies and some gentlemen as well from Old Delhi, India. They all work together. They make these earrings. Um, it's hand rolled terracotta beads on the top. And then the little tassel is made from rayon silk. And you can put oils. It, this, the Drops of Joy diffuser earrings comes with a little 5ml of Joy, but you could do any oils you want. Um, I use Joy as a perfume for it, so this would work really well for me. Um, so you can put the oils either on the terracotta beads because it's clay, it holds oils really well, or the rayon silk tassels will hold oil really well as well. Um, and then they use recycled brass and they hand make these earrings. And um, after they make them and sell them, they all pool their money and they combine all the profits to sponsor the education of young girls in their community, which I think is really wonderful because 
in certain countries, girls are less valuable than boys. So the fact that they're sponsoring education for young girls in their community really means a lot. And me having two little girls, like that really touches my heart as well. Um, I really love that the Young Living Foundation receives $2.50 from every set that's purchased. And the Young Living Foundation, there's no, like when they say $2.50, that's $2.50 that goes to these children. There's no administrative costs. Young Living, the company, takes care of all the administrative costs, all of the secretarial work, all of the shipping work, all of the numbers work, all of it. Young Living does all of that so that any money that the foundation gets goes straight to those people. I, I think it's wonderful that our oils company takes care of the administrative stuff so that anything donated goes straight to the cause that it's supposed to be donated for. So. I couldn't find a video specific to this, the old deli and the girls with their education. Um, but I encourage you to go to YouTube and look up Young Living Foundation. Um, the video of the orphans in Ecuador is really touching. Um, there's a number of really, really touching videos from the Young Living Foundation. And I love being a part of a company that has such a heart for women and children and the less fortunate. And they do work all over the world. Um, for different groups through the foundation. And it's absolutely wonderful. I love the heart of our company. Yeah. Thanks, Tessa. Um, I don't have pierced ears, so I won't be able to wear these, but I did look up on Amazon. You can get a conversion kit. I would have to finagle with some really small pliers to get the like piercing part off. And then I could get um, magnetic ones. So I was looking into that because I really love these earrings. They're really beautiful. <laughs> but I think I'm going to get a conversion kit on Amazon just so I can wear these earrings because they're really pretty. <laughs> All right. So if we don't have anything else to present on the holiday catalog, because we're kind of crunching time here, mm -hmm. um, who do we have watching live? Emily, Teresa, B, and Wendy, I think I saw. And we've got all of you four on for having watched last week. And we've got Rodney on for watching last week. So I think we're good to do the Wheel of Names. Let me just double check that nobody else jumped in while I was presenting on the earrings. Oh, I see Sue. Sue is joining us. Yay. Let's get Sue on here too. Whoops, wrong. There we go. I have so many tabs open. My computer is just like, what are you doing to me? Oh, it's just, just full. All right. I think that's everybody. I think I caught everyone who's watching. All right. So now how do I share my screen? This is always fun. I have so many things. So many. What am I clicking right now? Okay. Nope. That's not right. Hang on. We'll get this. There we go. Screen share. Excellent. This is this is the one I want. Okay. <laughs> oh my word. Some days. Okay. Can you see this? Excellent. All right. We're gonna spin the wheel here. I think we've got everybody's names, and we're all good to go. Oh, you all get on twice because you're watching live. Good catch, Tessa. Good catch. Pat myself on the back here. All right. Here we go. Spin the wheel. And Sue! Yay! You are our winner for this week. Yay! All right. And I believe it's your turn for prizes this week. Yes. Mm -hmm. And wait until you see what the prize is. Awesome. Ooh! Eve's hand sanitizer. Oh, yes. I have to share the goodness. I have to share the goodness. I love how that stuff feels on your hands. Like other stuff, you use hand sanitizer that they have available, like in gas stations or wherever you go. And it, like your hands feel all like sticky and gross afterward. Whereas Thieves, it's like, oh, I'm putting on hand lotion. <laughs> yeah, I hear a lot at church. I hear, oh, I want the good stuff. Because we've <laughs> got the bigger bottles set up, you know, and I, I will have to say, we're not out yet, like, it hasn't been depleted, we bought four 
of those bottles, only one, one is gone, but we still got three and they're still fairly full. So people are, are not going overboard with it, but they're like, almost almost like oh forget that other stuff because you know we have we have other stuff too we right have to, i mean we're a church <laughs> we we have to you know be mindful of cash flow mm -hmm. um so but this stuff is just awesome people are just raving about oh i just love how it smells and i just love how it feels in my hands and awesome and so so yes yeah, so i will definitely get this out if you could get me the address yep. of the person sure. That would be great, and then I can get it out. Um, I will. I will get it in the mail on Friday because Friday is my day. That I day. all my errands, and you know, I'm not watching little people. So <laughs> <laughs> awesome! Well, congratulations, yeah. Sue, and yes, thanks for sure. everyone who's watched us and joined us this evening. For sure, that it was it was a fun time tonight. I it think. Was. And what are we doing next? Next week is November promos, right? Mm -hmm. All yep. the stuff available for November. I know. I know. I'm excited because November is usually really, really exciting. It's usually good because they it's know people good. are wasting Black Friday orders. Yes. I think November is one of the only months that they typically have a 400 PV level. Mm -hmm. So that's exciting. So yeah, so I'm excited about about that. What what do we think it'll be? Should we guess? <sighs> Boy. November. I think nutmeg vitality or cinnamon vitality would be in there because they know a lot of people are gonna be baking. Mm-hmm. Yep, I would agree there. Um I'm just trying to think what else? What else? What else? Maybe your Christmas spirit. Maybe. Which would be wonderful <laughs> because you know <laughs> you can only have so much Christmas spirit. <laughs> no, your hubby will only let you order so much Christmas spirit if you get it for free. <laughs> Actually, I'm in I'm in control of you know my account, his account. <laughs> Lee's <laughs> in control of his own account because he always orders like woodsy oils or whatever and I'm like I need this and I need this for baking and I <laughs> my hubby's like so what did I order this month and I'm like nice oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's all about budget oh yes all about budget. <laughs> yeah all right so. awesome all right cool well have a wonderful evening everyone see you, you same too. time same place next week Yep. Yeah, bye, everybody. Bye. bye.